the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked the end of the Cold War and the beginning of a new era in world history. The Soviet Union, officially known as the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, USSR, was a federal socialist state that existed from 1922 to 1991. It was made up of 15 republics, including Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus. The collapse of the Soviet Union was a gradual process that began in the late 1980s and continued through 1991. There were several factors that contributed to the collapse, including economic, political, and social factors. Economically, the Soviet Union was in a state of decline. The country had been in a state of economic stagnation since the 1970s and the government's attempts to revive the economy through central planning and state ownership of industry had failed. The Soviet economy was heavily dependent on the export of natural resources, particularly oil, but the global price of oil dropped in the 1980s, causing a severe economic crisis. The government also struggled with a large budget deficit and a lack of foreign currency. Politically, the Soviet Union was plagued by corruption and a lack of political freedom. The Communist Party, which had controlled the country since the 1920s, was losing its grip on power. The party's general secretary, Mikhail Gorbachev, came to power in 1985 and implemented a series of reforms known as Perestroika and Glasnost which aimed to modernize the Soviet economy and open up the political system. However, these reforms were not enough to save the Soviet Union. Instead, they led to increased demands for political and economic freedom from the republics. Socially, the Soviet Union was facing a growing sense of disillusionment among its citizens. The Soviet people were tired of the lack of consumer goods and the poor quality of life. They were also frustrated with the lack of political and economic freedom. The Soviet government was also facing increasing pressure from the republics to give them more autonomy. In 1991, the republics of the Soviet Union began to break away from Moscow's control. The Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania declared their independence in the summer of 1991. In August, a group of hardline communist officials attempted to overthrow Gorbachev in a coup, but the coup failed and Gorbachev was placed under house arrest. Following the failure of the coup, the republics of Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus declared their independence. This effectively dissolved the Soviet Union. The collapse of the Soviet Union had far-reaching consequences. The end of the Cold War led to a new era of international relations, with the United States emerging as the sole superpower in the world. The collapse of the Soviet Union also led to the independence of the republics and the emergence of 15 new countries. Many of these new countries struggled in the years following independence, as they faced economic and political instability. The collapse of the Soviet Union also had a profound impact on the people of the Soviet Union. Millions of people were left without jobs or pensions and the standard of living for many people dropped dramatically. Many people also lost their sense of identity and purpose, as the Soviet Union had been a major part of their lives. In conclusion, the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 was a complex and multifaceted process that was caused by a combination of economic, political, and social factors. The collapse had far-reaching consequences for the world the republics and the people of the Soviet Union. It marked the end of the Cold War and the beginning of a new era in world history.